the history of the Earth people. Fiftieth anniversary celebration, yeah. Well, the Earth People Movement I founded uh, 50 years ago in India as a 24-year-old. So simple. Two guiding truths. There are no foreign people. Earth People cherish all ethnic communities, you know. Well, <laughs> dark forces uh, to sustain and to justify their cruel, truly terrorizing, old-fashioned anachronistic power yeah, over humanity. The nations promote the unsustainable illusion that uh, our world is thick with strange and dangerous foreign people. <laughs> In reality, no foreign people exist. We're all indigenous earthlings. Hmm. We all emerge from the same divine source. No. From the sacred bodies of our loving mothers, yeah. Human life is that pure, simple. Imagine our planet with abundant, healthy, smiling, creative, spiritually fulfilled Earth people. My vision is not a woo-woo, uh, spiritually uh, unattainable uh, baby boomer fantasy. Why? I'm living proof. For the last 50 years, I've lived as an Earth person. Yeah, toe to head. Spiritually, legally. So, the following three uh, sets of video clips uh, throw abundant sunshine onto these two truths. There are no foreign people. Earth people cherish all ethnic communities. These video clips are taken from my book, Earth Freaks. The coming of the Earth people. So you'll you'll watch those and enjoy those, and then uh, after, let me get down into the rootsy, uh, historical pr uh, prelude to the Earth people movement. Well, six months after I renounced my uh, nationality and all nationalities at the American Embassy in Dura uh, Madras in July 1971. <laughs> That's why it's the 50th anniversary, July 2021. A hippie friend named Tobias Moss, all oh, very flamboyant character, dressed in silk satin and velvet, played a silver side float. And <laughs> uh, he brought me an application for something called a world passport. Yeah, I was living on the beach in India, wild, free-spirited hippie scene. Everybody was was broke and couldn't care less. Yeah. And uh, at the time, I'd never heard ever about the world government or its founder, Gary Davis, who started it all off in 1948. No. And, uh, well, listen, I'm a re recently minted uh, Earth person, or stated vulnerably, a stateless refugee. Uh, I eagerly posted an application for a world travel document, a world passport, to Gary Davis at his headquarters in Basel, Switzerland. And uh, after which, Gary posted me back uh, a world passport, you know, with my picture on it, all the stamp seals and everything. They didn't charge me. It was free as a gift. I didn't have any money to pay for it. He didn't care. Uh, phew. 
<sighs> mm. Oh, what a relief. I now had in my hand one of these. World passport, yeah. Multiple languages, legal travel document. So my fears of being, you know, ended up in a squalid Indian jail, busted by immigration police for, with no papers, so, uh, it naturally faded away. Thanks, Gary. Well, along with the New World Passport, uh, Gary uh, 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 sent his uh, memoir, My Country is the World, beautiful book about his growing up into being an Earth person. And most interesting, there was a note. Gary said, look, uh, Earth man, my guru, who gives me all the spiritual foundation to do what I do, is Nataraja Guru. And he's living right now, south of Goa. Wow. Um, and uh, Nataraja Guru, world-renowned as the world peace guru, Brilliant spiritualist, got degrees in philosophy from the Savorn in Paris, hung out in the Haight-Ashbury in San Francisco, became R. Crumb's character, Mr. Natural, in his, in his comic uh, strips. Yeah, um, Natural Edge Guru shortly became my guru. So, the founder of the World Citizen Movement and me, founder of the Earth People Movement, we, we had the same guru. Yeah, and uh, sustained both of us for the rest of our lives. I can't resist this fantastic backstory. Okay. As I wrote earlier, I had tape recorded my embassy renunciation on my little Sony tape recorder in the U.S. ambassador's office. Uh, and, uh, well, after that, I, I, I assumed the blowback from just being radically free and an earth person, I'd probably be stranded in India. No passport, no dog for the rest of my life. Yeah. Uh, therefore, I meticulously transcribed this tape recording word for word onto paper. And I'm so glad I did that. <laughs>